Hey there, awesome to present this research at NASA's HRP IWS Investigators Workshop near Houston, Texas this past week. Uh, so it's been observed astronauts' bodies destroy up to 54% more red blood cells than pre-flight rates with reversed flow observed. On day 5 to 11 on the ISS, 20-30 micromoles of iron and 40 to 50 percent transfer and saturation which is 10 to 15 percent higher than baseline and, and then so with this polar gradient environment uh if there's up to two billion less electrons um on the iss and and indoors um would that would suggest 60 billion less electrons per month um lack of negative air ions and and in this high positive um, air ion in, in environment with 500 to 1500 uh, ions per cubic centimeter. And, and so um, it's been observed with pulse, that pulse electromagnetic fields affects um, the flow mediated dilation or change in art, artery diameter um, in blood vessels. And, and after electromagnetic field exposure for three times per day for 12 weeks, there's reduced blood pressure and improved vascular function. Um, and, and so in this other study found in imaging the Rouleau formation of red blood cells, um, the uh, EM fields at one hertz increased RBC velocity by four microns per second and reduced viscosity. And so when cells lose charge, they cluster with high positive charge leading to the Rouleau effect highlighted here on this diagram on the left. And our blood cells are typically negatively charged and can be deflected with an electromagnetic field. Um, and so the faster they're traveling, the, the, the less deflection with um, positive charge ions deflected in the opposite direction. And so with the RBC reduction in iron overload in the serum, leftover hemoglobin from RBCs, there could be um, retrograde fluid shift in space and microgravity uh, from the Rouleau effect and the polar environment. Um, uh, okay, and so coming here into the methods, so this research paper and presentation outlines the effects of electromagnetic fields on, on blood on a cellular level, magnetohydrodynamics, math, and models. Ground experiments with AJA Biostim wearable highlighted here on the right has over 300 publications um, and uh, and and is a pulse field device that creates an electromagnetic field uh, around the area of interest, and and so we're design designing prototypes with a microfluidic PDMS, um, and and we can test the effects of pulsing ten to forty hertz on relieving relow formation, mobilizing iron and blood clots, and stimulating blood flow. Blood samples can evaluate iron-containing proteins such as hemoglobin. A correlation between fluid shift in ion displacement and iron levels would suggest an interaction. Here we've outlined the ferritin and iron core uh, here on, on this image on the left. Uh, it says hemoglobin is, is one-third of the total red blood cells, uh, the spin moment for the four unpaired of electrons is 4.9 magnetons per heme. And depending on you know how fast these cells are swimming and this this charge gradient um, of the red blood cells, you know, how much more electromagnetic susceptible could dead RBCs be? And this this next diagram here um, outlines some of the forces acting um, in the X Y Z direction, and, and so with fifty percent less of the electromagnetic field and um, dominant artificial EMI fields um, from electronics so on the ISS and other environments, there's this uh, B and E field vector forces would act on charged ions and spin, and so each half orbit or thirty to forty five minutes the Magnetic field flux changes direction and may potentially induce clockwise and anti-clockwise spin on cells and ions. Uh, 
So the objective of the study is to quantify the effects of electromagnetic fields on red blood cells and cell spin um, and evaluate the optimal B field, Hertz duration, and duty cycle and quantify the effects on fluid shift and, and other spaceflight associated symptoms um, and how these uh, observed symptoms could correlate to biospintronics. So some future research, uh, if free radicals from radiation have high charge states, this may also suggest high valence shell electromagnetic susceptibility. And after researchers design, build, and integrate a COTS microfluidic device to quantify rotation cell displacement, uh, microscopy platform, such as our partner with Bioserve, could help to image and collect real-time imaging of the spin dynamics of magnetotactic bacteria, red blood cells, and other cells in uh, 1G and microgravity and, and more. Uh, what other cells would you like to test as well? Okay, share your thoughts. Um, and so here's the uh, microfluidic device. Uh, outlined here to uh, help control and measure and image the cell rotation. Um, and there's all sorts of other uh, devices such as you know optical tweezers and uh, other uh, other microfluidic devices. And and so what we're really proposing here is the first on orbit experiment to measure cell spin um, and and. and quantify the effect of electromagnetic fields on cell rotation dynamics and other symptoms such as SANS and fluid shift. Whereby these pulse field devices, um, you know, in, in, in bringing electromagnetic fields with us beyond earth, these, these electromagnetic field devices could help move ions and fluids in the right direction as a countermeasure for these, uh, for these symptoms and help improve the quality of humans and life, you know, on earth and beyond. So uh, thank you for your time and uh, we'll catch you next time. <laughs>